got videos. I never tried to do that shit to go viral, like. So I don't know. They in it for the in my opinion, I feel like the newer ones are in it for the wrong reason. They in it for the money. They're not even really in it for the career. You get what I'm saying? Like so, so what is uh so what is uh nets for Nifa Ni? I mean, you know, you 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 already set your goal. I mean, you go. You already set your goals. Your focus is on is on your son. Um, you know, it, it is there is there romance in 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 the future for Nifa Ni? Is but let me ask you this, and I you know I, I don't think I asked you this before, but uh. Uh, your baby's your baby's father is the, is there any possibility of y'all two kind of like rekindling the 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 relationship? Um, I'll never say never, but I am open to marriage. But I don't think he would be husband material for me, the woman that I've become now. Mm -hmm. Twenty eight years old, and I'm still growing, and mm -hmm. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot about men because they don't want the shit that women look for. Mm. So it's like men know women, but I just found out that women really don't know men. <laughs> right. So, so I'm I'm still learning. Um, cause I did the work. I did the work on myself, and I had to figure out why did not relationship work. Mm -hmm. And um, I figured out. I got that figured out, and now I'm working on me. You know, with my health, trying to be inspirational, trying to be fun, try to be fit. Um. So I am definitely open to marriage in the future, but I don't think it'll be with my baby daddy. I am looking for something. Um, well, not looking, but hopefully in something, the future. Yeah, something will fall your I'll way. Have, like, yeah, something will come my way, and it'll just work out. All right. But, um, that was a great question, Sean. You trying to be my husband? <laughs> Nah, I'm out. Uh, nah, I'm in my I'm in my fifties, Nifa. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm in my fifties. I'm sorry. It, maybe you if I may, maybe if I was maybe if I was maybe in my forties or something like that. You know, come you know come down a little bit. Maybe you know <laughs> may, maybe in Ohio, Florida connection would have would have would have would have prospered. <laughs> but uh, but I'm I'm already in my fifties and all like that. So you you need somebody you need somebody with some good knee work. <laughs> my, my 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 knee work my my knee work got some squeaks in it. <laughs> oh, you got bad knees, son. <laughs> Uh, so funny. Hey, That's so, so hey, so whatever happened to uh old girl though? I mean, um we uh Sean, your your guest is as good as mine. Like You know who I I'm talking no about, right? Idea. Yeah, because oh, okay. I was the only one that I opened up and like get my phone number and I thought mm -hmm. we were gonna have a real like friendship and I just hate that it wasn't what I expected and like that that's kind of the reasons why I'm kind of cold too. Not cold, but just like, because every time I open up, it's like <laughs> hurts comes around the corner. Like, yeah, so. I mean, it's kind of yeah, like really we kind of we kind of like got ghosts. Actually, we we both uh, we we both uh, kind of opened got up. Ghosted? Yeah, we yeah. yeah we we both opened up uh, to her. Um, we we had some good conversations as a matter of fact of course i did the, yeah we you know i did the you know did the interview with her come to find out that she's uh she's a uh, gangster boo's cousin you know from uh mississippi you know I, she reached out to me to tell me that she got in the in the truck then she got out of the truck then something happen and then i think i got a con me and you engaged in a conversation we're, we're not gonna you know we're not gonna go into yeah. detail about it but me and you engaged in the conversation and then after that we after that pff, ghost gone like poof no more instagram no no more uh no more phone calls no more coming into live feeds like <laughs> like i hope everything's okay because you yeah. never know corona might have played a part in that too right. so i hope 
everything is okay. But, um, yeah, I really thought we were going to be, like, clicked up. Like, I don't know mm -hmm. why I thought that, but I don't know. I just thought we were going to be, you know, girls. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, that hurt my feelings. But, hey, everybody go through stuff, so maybe that could... I don't know, but I just wanted to be there if she was going through anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't know. Oh, but yeah. Well, so much for that. All right. Well, knee for knee. Thank you very yeah. much for coming back. You know what I'm saying? We still. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, no doubt. All the time. You, you always, you always a friend of the show, and you very, very much welcome, and all like that. <laughs> so that I was, uh, you know, that that kind of had me that kind of had me thinking was you know where where was the music you know what i'm saying because yeah you know the the mute i mean you 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 true you know you truly got bars and all like that john but, but i'm gonna have to get naked and i really and i've been i've been fighting with that now you I, know I, I really don't want to get naked uh -huh. i really don't want to get naked i got the bars i got it but i have to take some shit off you got to think about it I'm going to really pop and go mainstream without showing some titties? Like, what? <laughs> like, no. Nifa, you showing titties now. What you talking about? I mean, yeah. like, it's workout clothes, but I yeah. mean, like, think about Mulatto, Megan Thee Stallion, shaking her ass, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. I'm talking about naked, how them hoes be naked. Oh, no. Nah. If I'm going to pop like them, I'm going to have to get naked. Even Chloe Bailey, she's a fucking singer, but she do the most. With no clothes on. And I just don't want to. Nah, you don't. I don't think you, I want to do that right now. Nah, you, you, you don't. You, and like you said, you probably might be better as a, you know, as a ghost writer. writer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let, let me write, let me write the hits for you. <laughs> <laughs> and just get back. Don't writers get paid the most anyway? Shit. They All, get paid. Everybody, yeah, they get everybody paid else will like get paid the most <laughs> except for the fucking artists. Like. Yeah, have you heard about Keisha Cole and yeah. fucking Meek Mill? Yeah. Like, what was that? I was so shocked. <laughs> and then I seen I, I seen a podcast with uh, Nori, and Nori was like, "Yo, like that money that you know, like he said, like that that uh that that signed up money, like the company would give you, like yeah. let's say they give it's you like the eight hundred, like they the, they say the company would give you eight hundred uh 800 grand right 800k but yeah you have to pay that 800k back that's a loan yeah it's a loan yeah. i thought that was i i thought that was the i thought that was your money like every time somebody that's like, why they call it in advance yeah, yeah yeah when everybody be like yo i'm about to sign this million you know this million dollar contract but now they over here like yo that million dollar contract no, you you have to you have to pay for the producer. You have to pay for studio time. You have to pay for uh uh the writers. You had to you know you had to pay, and all that comes out of your advance sign on bonus money. I didn't realize yeah. that. Yep, yeah. it's a game. They've been playing this shit. The music business is a dirty business. I got a book on it, and I gotta read it. So I don't know if it's something I want to get into. If they, you know, that's why they keep saying go independent, go independent, go independent, go independent. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But even, yeah, but even going, but even going independent, uh, even going independent. Hold on, I want to get your thoughts on that. Let me turn this back on. All right, <laughs> all right. So give me your thoughts. Even, even going independent uh, in the music game. Is 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 that hard work as well? Yeah, you definitely gotta have like a fan base. Um, I mean, it's not hard to get your music on Distro Kid and get it published and get it put on Apple Music and all of that, which is what I did. But you definitely gotta have a fan base to buy it, you know. And as far as getting like a mainstream push and a bigger distribution deal. You can do those type of deals, but independent, mm. it is going to be a lot of hard work, for sure. Man. But they, all the big artists is telling these small artists, do it by yourself. Like, 
if you got the followers on Instagram or if you got the followers on TikTok and you got a little cute dance and you put it on TikTok with your song, that shit will go up. But, that- uh, mm-hmm. He's, you know, he's a producer, and all mm-hmm. like that. He's a he he's a producer and everything. And he he it, it took him a little minute to get you know to get established and 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 to get out there. But he had he had to put in the work, you know, yeah. long nights, you know, long nights, a lot of phone calls, and you know, a, a, and a lot of dirty calls as that as well. Like he'll call up the one like like. He'll call up like, let's say, and I'm just using Dr. Dre as an example. Right. He'll call up Dr. Dre and be like, "Yo, I got this beat, yada yada yada, and all like that." And mm-hmm. Dr. Dre won't won't give him no play. Yeah. Like they that's do that. what you that's what you guys that's what you guys be going through, y'all. Y'all trying to hook up with with all these these top level producers that's not even giving you no play. Are you afraid that if you was to if you was was to give your music or your song to a A and R and they take it to that top level producer, um, they don't they 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 not gonna use you, but they use your shit. How did that? How would that make you feel if 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 that would have happened to you? It's been happening. Like I don't know if you know Cardi B song. If it's up, if it's up, if it's up, then mm-hmm. it's up. That she stole that. That was stolen from a, a independent artist, Ooh. and that's fucked up. It's fucked up that your shit can get stole like that. And if that happened to me, I would be super, super upset. It, even with SZA, she's a singer, but she stole that one girl's whole swag. Mm. It's fucked up. It's so fucked up. And it's 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 it's, it's crazy that. You guys don't have no, no. It's like no, what can no we means? do? We yeah. barely got money for a lawyer. Like, what the fuck can we do? Like, wow. just gotta eat it. Yeah, that shit fucked up though. So, so again, on that level, that's why a lot of you guys is say, "Fuck it, just let me go ahead and go independent and do it that way," instead of trying to get my music, uh, trying to get my music out there through through the lights of uh, Bad Boy aftermath uh and all these other uh, 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 uh what's that mmg music and all like that is it better to just go ahead and just go independent and just try to do try to do all of it that way so you can uh so you can have a little bit more control over your artistry yeah and i feel like with every situation with every person is different like if you can get a deal with your favorite artist of course you're gonna like rock with your favorite that's your favorite artist Mm -hmm. but i mean it does take a lot of work to go independent and that is why some people are going in the independent route Mm -hmm. but some people want that instant gratification like okay if i sign with my favorite artist i'm gonna get a chain i'm gonna get notoriety Mm because i mean he didn't put a stamp on me like so it's different strokes for different folks some people gonna grind 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 some people want it right now like oh you gonna give me a hundred thousand all right bet like Sometimes even 50k is good for somebody who went in the trenches with nothing. So it's different for different people. And that's what's up. That's what's up. Again, Nifa, thank you for the for the music. Uh, for for the music. Uh, what, 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 update. Conference, uh, update. That's what's up. That's what's up. And uh, mm-hmm. I'm about to go ahead and get on up out of here. You stay safe. Next time I'm down here, man, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna let Hit you know. Be- up, I, no, man. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you know beforehand when I beforehand that I be down here. Then once I come down here, then I'll let you know where where I'm at, and we can, you know, we could we could yeah, probably you do taught breakfast. You're gonna me how to play blackjack and all of that. He could have taught me. Nah, we 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 don't do blackjack, brother. Man, do poker. Oh, but I, I think. <laughs> I might, I might have to, I might have to change up. I, I might have to change up and jump back on blackjack, man, because my yeah. my poker game been 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 slipping as of late. For real, for real, for real, for real. I, you know, I it's it's either me. I'm I know I'm playing good. It's just, I, it, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but yeah, but that's how it is, man. My poker game been, you know. So I might have to go back to blackjack. Yeah, I might have to go back to blackjack. Might have to go back to blackjack. So, but yeah, next time I I come down here, you know, I come down here like I I don't know, like once a week. But 
Yeah, next time I come back down here, man, I'll go ahead and uh, let you know. I'll text you or, you know, get you, you know, give you a heads up. And then when I get down here, you know, wherever I'm at or something like that, we can, you know, link up. But I know, let me see. So you're off on Tuesdays, right? Tuesdays and Saturdays on my days off. Okay, now I know Saturdays I'm at home. So I got to make sure that uh, that I'll be down here on the Tuesday. All right. Yeah. All right, that won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. Usually my loadout, my loadout is on Sundays, and then yeah, Tuesday I normally be down here in the morning, and all like that. So yeah, I could spend about a, I could spend about thirty minutes, an hour with you before I head back out to Savannah. Yay! So, <laughs> so yeah, I'll do that. All right. Well, that's good. That's that's what's up, Nifa. So you take it easy, man. You stay sweet. You still my girl. Oh, yay. <laughs> I feel better. All right. So I, I'll holler at you in a minute, man. You stay safe. Okay. Thanks, Sean. You're welcome anytime. Thank you. <laughs> welcome.